for this week's legal update with Ronnie Richter. We're talking about a case that has made headlines here in the Charleston area. To give us the latest on the Bland Richter law firm significant legal malpractice case against House Representative and prominent attorney Marvin Pendarvis and his law firm is of course Ronnie Richter. Ronnie, welcome back. Oh, thanks for having me. All right, what should we be knowing about this case right now? Yeah, so the case has been filed and, and the central allegations are that Mr. Pendarvis was representing a client named Adrian Lewis uh, the, the case was against the Dorchester County Sheriff's Department. And according to the lawsuit, and these are allegations unproven at this time, but according to the allegations, um, Mr. Pendarvis settled that case without his client's knowledge or consent for $10,000. And that someone, not Adrian Lewis, signed settlement documents. Um, and Mr. Lewis actually found out about this from the lawyers on the other side of the case. So when the lines of communication went cold, he ended up reaching out to the lawyers on the other side of that case to find out what happened, and that's how he learned that his case had actually been settled and dismissed. Wow, and what does this case mean for accountability here in South Carolina? Well, I think people would look at a case like this as uh, evidence that the system is broken, that you know, if Mr. Pendarvis would do this, how do we trust that other lawyers aren't doing it as well? And I would suggest that this case says the system is working, that there are lawyers out there who will hold people accountable regardless of who they are, what station they hold, what position of power they might hold. And so don't look at this and be discouraged about the practice of law and the way the system works and point, point to it as an example of, of corruption. I would point to it as, a, as an example of the system working. We're told we're supposed to be self-policing. That's something that my partner and I take very seriously. And so when this matter was brought to us, we knew what we had to do and that was to file this action and to report it to the appropriate authorities. So what should we know about this case moving forward? Well, like all legal matters, it's gonna be drawn out. Um, I, there, I am aware of an ongoing criminal investigation into the same allegations. Uh, we have no control over that. Uh, whether charges are brought or not, we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, we have reported the matter to the appropriate authorities with the bar. Uh, we have no control over those matters either. We'll, we'll wait and see what the bar has to say about Mr. Pendarvis's right to practice in the state of South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And how does legal malpractice kind of um, fall into this? I know this is something we talk um, about a lot. Yeah, so the legal malpractice aspect about this, I mean, at the heart of representing a client it is the fundamental principle that it's the client's case, right? I mean, we're, we're representatives, we're not the parties. And, and at the heart of that is the client has the sole and exclusive right to decide to settle or not to settle. And for a lawyer to take that right away from a client is certainly malpractice, and that's at the heart of the lawsuit that we filed. Mm -hmm. And how can we um, get in touch with you if somebody else is going through a similar situation? Yeah, if you're aware of a similar situation, certainly involving Mr. Pendarvis, we would ask the public for assistance here, uh, and reach out to us at blandrichter.com. Well, Ronnie, thank you so much. Thank you.